Hi, this is Chris from freehuntingland.com. Uh, we're just going to show you uh, some of the things to do with the maps, uh, map data overlay in Google Earth. So I've downloaded two regions, the East Central region and the West Central region. Um, so when the, um, you, you can use this uh, checkbox here to hide certain regions. You really don't, probably only want to look at one region at a time. So off a lot of data to look at if not. The other thing is this pl check this plus over here expands the folder so you can turn on and off the individual layers. In this case, a closed um, managed forest or black squares. Those um, those are not uh, areas you can hunt on, but they're useful to find landlocked land, certain uh, yellow and purple squares may be landlocked and you have to cross the closed land to get to them. Okay, so I have the trans transparency turned down. Let me uncheck this, the black, go up here and uh, um, unexpand the folder and click on this region and here here we're at about 50% transparency. So when you're when you're way out uh, in space here, it's good to have this stuff bright as possible. But as you zoom in and you want to start looking at the uh, the land and the trees and uh, stuff underneath, um, you certainly you want to make this transparency less so you can see what's underneath there. So this is the transparency slider here, okay? And uh, be careful too because this changes all the layers um, equally. So if you already had one layer turn down so let's say we take this forest crop here and we we turn that down halfway and then we also go turn the whole layer the whole layer down halfway it's gonna make that layer almost invisible so be sure to kind of do these all equally otherwise you can have one layer that gets disappeared and you're kind of wondering why okay so that's just a little uh trick that hopefully that won't won't uh, mess anybody up so let's uh, go about 50 percent transparency here one thing too with the new with the 2009 data is that you can click on um, each square and it tells you how many acres are in the enrolled in the program okay because some of these each one of these is a 40 acre square there are certain portions that aren't a complete 40 acres are in the program okay sometimes there's a small chunk on the other side of the road sometimes uh, people exclude their you know their house and their yard and that that type of thing this particular one oops, um, 40 acres 40 acres let's try this one 40 acres okay 95 percent of the portions are 40 acres and you don't have to worry about it Okay, um, let's just talk about printing real quick, okay? Um, th there's one thing you gotta, when you print, you can either go to File, Print, or hit Control P, okay? You, you can't do this, this one, you have to print this. So you wanna print the 3D view of what's on the screen, okay? So we hit Print. I don't have a printer installed right now, but uh, it'll send exactly this image to the printer. Okay. Um, th that's about it. The only other thing I, I wanted to mention was uh, when you close Google Earth, what I like to do is un uncheck all these layers because uh, if you had a whole bunch on and then you closed it and then let's say you wanted to quick jump into Google Earth and get some driving directions for somewhere. You don't want to wait for all this data to download again. So I, I uncheck my regions and the, and the map key before I close Google Earth. So on, and the, the other thing is it's going to ask you any new regions that you downloaded. So when I say exit here, it asks me if I want to save these to my places. You want to say yes. So the next time you open Google Earth, the data's um, there. Um, all you have to do is click the checkbox to show it, 
and it goes and gets the data from our servers. You don't have to go back to freehuntingland.com, go log in, go to the members page and get the get the region each time. You only have to get the region one time. Okay? Well, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.